Hey, how's everybody doing? I fixed a lot of my cars by learning from watching other people fix their cars on YouTube. So today I'm changing out a headlight on a Lexus. Figured I'd make a short video. If anyone needs to look up how to change their headlight on their Lexus, they can watch this video. So today we are changing the headlight on this Lexus ES330. I know for a fact a lot of the ES300s also have the same headlights. A lot of other Lexus models have the same headlights, but this is really quick. It's really easy to change these headlights. Let me show you how to do it. We're going to be replacing the passenger dims. These Lexus have a the dims on the outside, obviously, and then the brights. The dims are actually different bulbs than the brights, so when you go to pick it up, make sure that you get the dim. The dim headlights for the for the Lexus is an H11. You see it there on the package, and it's also on the bulb itself you see their h11 if you go to the parts store they might try to sell you 30 40 even 50 dollar bulbs all you need is the cheapest one i've been using these for as long as i've been driving they've always at least lasted year two years three years or so long i've never even had to change them but you don't need to buy those expensive ones just buy the cheap bulbs they're normally eight ten dollars now remember we are swapping out the dim which is this one right here so you come around here and look you're gonna see three bulbs there's this one right here there's this one right here this one's the bright if you need to change out the bright it's this one right here and then over here in the very corner right here is your dim which we're gonna change out today all you're gonna do is take that bulb and turn it this way try to film this where you can see what I'm doing but you're gonna grab the bulb twist it twist it that direction so twist it and then once you twist it a little bit it'll unlock and that bulb will come right out take your screwdriver put it in there and just be real careful pull it out and that popped out but it's as easy as that now you're just gonna take your take your new one plug it back in that plug and then put it back in the hole so let me go grab the new one I've got the new bulb here you can see it's not all black and burned up like the other one I'm gonna plug it back in exact same way that I just took the other one out then same way that we took it out and i put it back in there twist it until it locks and then we're going to check the headlight again so also they say you're not supposed to touch the glass on these bulbs don't ask me why but something or other about they explode but i don't know the real reason why so i'm gonna Fish these back out that hole. And there are little slots that you have to line up. When you get those slots lined up. You can see the one, two, three slots. You get to line the slots up on the bulb. And once you do, It'll pop in there and then you twist it to lock it. The hard part is getting the slots lined up. They don't give you a whole lot of cable to work with here. I can tell you the passenger side is easier to do than the driver's side. I did the driver's side on this car probably about a year ago. It helps to do this if you have little hands. I do not have little hands. I'm having a hard time fishing the bulb back in there. This washer fluid spout is directly in the way there we go there's the new bulb in right there now the test to see if i didn't break the bulb in the process i don't think i did but it's always good to check all right put the key back on turn the headlights on cross my fingers and then let's check it out yeah buddy cooking with gas now we got dims on both sides while I'm at it I'm gonna check the brights just to make sure while I'm got my hands down in here messing with it oh, 
Yep, we got brights too. Thanks for watching the video. If you have a Lexus, hope it helped you out, saved you some money. But if you haven't already, subscribe to the Hootie Hoo channel. Stay tuned for future videos. Hootie Hoo!